All right, so this is a Western Digital external hard drive, my book. And this model is an eight terabyte, so it's pretty big. It's not the biggest one they got. I think the biggest one they got is like 18 terabyte, but they're much more expensive and this is gonna be the best choice if you're looking to get a cheaper price per gigabyte. I think this one is gonna be like 20 cents per gigabyte because I got it for $175 for 8,000 gigabytes, which comes out to about 20 cents per gigabyte. If you're buying like a 10 terabyte or 12 terabyte, it's gonna be a little bit more. Let's have a look what it has. So it includes software that will automatically back up all the stuff on your computer and it will back up to this external hard drive and it will also password protect it. If you set the password, it's gonna encrypt it. And that's a good thing because what you wanna have, you wanna have your backup encrypted in case you get some virus or somebody breaks into your computer and they can actually encrypt it so you cannot access it. But if you do have a password on this backup, they won't be able to get to it unless they have a quantum computer or something. So yeah, this is a great thing. And as you can see, it has a 256 bit AES hardware encryption. So this is a really good choice. Let's go ahead and open it up right now. If you have this sealed up, that means it's brand new. So nobody has returned it or it's not a refurbished one or it's not even an open box. As you can see, it's a brand, brand new. There is a hard drive in the box and you also get a power adapter <laughs> and it even says there is more inside so you don't throw it out. I wouldn't recommend throwing it out at all because what if it's a uh, factory defected or something, you still need to return it, but there we go. There is also a power adapter so you can plug it in because this is not a portable version. So it does require a power adapter to work. Let's just go ahead and pull it aside and see what else is there. And you have a USB 3.0. It's not a USB-C, it's not a micro USB, it's a special one. It does give you a really high speed, so this is good that they include this kind of connection. And they do include a quick start guide. It does include the Western Digital Backup, Western Digital Securities, Western Digital Drive Utilities. So this is just a quick start guide. If you wanna go ahead and read it, it's probably in a few different languages. And let's have a look at our hard drive. So we're gonna pull it off. So this is it, this is how it looks. It's got a Western Digital logo up front. It's got a nice wave texture up here, all around actually. It does feel pretty heavy. I would say it's probably like one pound or so. Let's go ahead and weigh it. I got my kitchen scale here, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And let's put this hard drive over here and see how much it weighs. Yeah, it's actually 983 grams, or if you go two pounds, it's actually a little bit over two pounds. All right, nevertheless, let's go ahead and pull this tape off and see how shiny it looks. And the best moment, let's go ahead and peel it off, peel this tape off and see how shiny it is, nice gonna look pretty shiny but it's probably gonna get dirty eventually so but right now it looks so good all right let's hear this again so as you can see like I said there is a logo up front there is nothing on the sides there is a my book on the back with the Western Digital website you have this USB super speed on the back you have a 12 volt power in here and it also has this Cunningston lock in case you want to lock it so nobody can steal it. And it has the rubber pads on the bottom. So if it vibrates a little bit and if it's sitting on your desk, it's not going to be moving as much. Like it's going to be pretty stable. It has the vents on the top here as well as it has the vents on the bottom to cool it down. So this is really good. And as you can see, there is a hard drive inside. I'm not going to pull it apart because I don't need to. It does seem to have a pretty good cooling because it has the cooling on top and cooling on the bottom. And I don't think this hard drive is going to get that hot at all. As long as you don't put it somewhere in direct sunlight. So yeah, looks pretty great. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see how it's working. Okay, so let's go ahead and find where the disc is and uh, we're gonna have a look here. 
in File Explorer. And there it is, my book age. So the total available storage is 7.27 terabyte. As you might know, when you buy a storage device, it's never gonna be exactly the same as it's advertised on the sticker. You're always gonna have a little bit less than advertised on the box. As you can see, I have another four terabyte one. Instead of having a four terabyte, I only have 3.63. And the USB drive, I have 120 gigabyte. It's only 116. so. It's always going to be less than what specified on the box but nevertheless 7.27 terabyte that's still pretty good so let's go ahead and open it up and as you can see there is already software for mac and windows so we're going to go ahead and install this software this is going to allow us to copy all our files to this disk so here you can choose whether you want to help Western Digital to improve their software. So by giving this permission, you're going to share some information. So it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. I decide not to share right now. You know, I wasn't taking that really serious. I didn't have my backups ever. I did have backups on my portable hard drives, but I was doing it just manually. I was copying some important files and that's it. I wasn't really doing a sync connection automatically like this one does. But at this time, there is too much stuff going on online and you never know when you might get those encryption viruses which can damage your computer and encrypt all the files. So I decided to have a backup for these reasons. Okay, so now it's been installed. It's going to guide you through some hints and tips. So right now it says you can set a password, change device configuration and do other stuff if you click on this gear icon. That's good. Then you can also sign into your cloud and get the notification. So you can find the folder that are shared. So here we go, this is the software from Western Digital and actually it automatically detected my external portable hard drives, which is one is my Western Digital and another was a Seagate. Now let's go to apps. And as you can see, there is a Western Digital security app. There is a Western Digital drive utilities and Western Digital backups. Let's go ahead and install the backup first. Just gotta wait till it downloads. And I find this is a really great and cheap backup. Unless you're really using a lot of storage, this hard drive should work for a pretty long time. They do offer a three year warranty, but I find I never had problems with hard drives because they have a pretty long durable life. Especially this Western Digital one, they're only 5400 RPM, so they're not as fast, but they're way more reliable. Unlike when you get a 7200 RPM, they're pretty fast. They're still reliable, but they wear out quicker than the 5400 because they have to spin faster, which creates more wear on the hard drive. Let's also go ahead and install WD security and install the WD drive utilities. First, we're gonna install the WD security. Just gotta click install. There we go, it's complete, finish. Let's go ahead and install the WD drive utilities. Again, the same thing, start all over again, install and finish. And now let's go ahead and install the backup, same thing. Okay, so now when we have installed the backup, we can go ahead and backup all our files. So what you have to do is just gonna click on backup files. Then you just need to select the device where you want to back up your data to. This is obviously going to be my book, a terabyte hard drive. Then you got to click next and it's going to start backing up your data to this hard drive. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't need to back it up right now. But anyway, this is how it's done. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channels for more interesting reviews and other helpful videos. I appreciate it very much. You can also check out my other video about the 12 terabyte Western Digital hard drive. This is another cool video. And also, if you would like to shack this drive and remove the hard drive from the case, I have another video you can check out. I'm going to put a link in the description and also put a link in the upper right corner as well. And if you have an internal hard drive that you want to turn into an external hard drive, there is a cool thing called docking station. And I got another video about that docking station as well. So, so follow the links in the description for these videos. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down in the comments section below. But this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.